there Swahili Nation family welcome back to another recap I am Ongil Zalalem and today we're gonna start from the Benin Republic unveiling a 98 feet tall statue of Queen Tassi Hangbe who formed the Dahomey Amazons an all-female military unit that existed in the Dahomey Kingdom the military unit operated from the 1700s till 1904 they are also the only documented all-female army in world history these women actually inspired the Black Panthers uh, warriors. If you've watched the movie, the women that are bold and that were fighting on behalf of Black Panther were the Dahomey Amazons. At least their inspiration came from that. And also there's a new movie coming out starring Viola Davis and Lupita Nyong'o, who's Kenyan. The movie is called The Woman King. And it's also inspired by the Dahomey Amazons, the warriors, the female fighters. UN mission regrets decision to expel its spokesperson. The United Nations mission in DR Congo, MUNESCO on Thursday deeply regretted the decision to expel its spokesperson Matthias Gilman from DR Congo and took note of the request made by the Congolese authorities in a statement. The Congolese Minister of Foreign Affairs, Christophe Lutundula, asked MUNESCO on Wednesday to do everything possible to ensure that Mr. Gilman leaves Congolese territory as soon as possible, inviting the mission to give the benefit of urgency to this request. As we all know, the youth of Democratic Republic of Congo protested the UN, specifically the MUNESCO, um, telling them to leave their country because they have not really helped them in their country. They were there for 20 years and they have nothing to show for it. So in the meantime, the spokesperson came out and said something that the people didn't like and Democratic Republic of Congo authorities um, told the UN to expel this spokesperson of theirs and the UN were not happy but they said that they will expel Mr. Gilman. Rwanda. Rwanda increases salaries of primary school teachers by 88%. Primary school teachers in Rwanda will get an 88% pay raise starting in August. This is part of the country's incentives aimed at improving teachers' livelihoods. Under this new revision, secondary school teachers will also see their pay increased by 40%, the country's education ministry announced on its official Twitter. I believe this is great news coming out of Rwanda. 88% increment is a good increment and teachers deserve it. They're always the ones neglected when it comes to public workers. They don't get paid a lot. And for some reason, they're supposed to be the ones that teach our kids and educate our kids and raise our kids in a way because our kids are at school during the day and at night we see them for a little bit and then they go to bed so teachers need to be compensated and i love that rwanda's taking the initiative to do that uganda uganda's presidents speak about enemies during a visit by russia's foreign minister to uganda president yori museveni said quote we don't believe in being enemies of somebody's enemy no we want to make our own enemies not fight other people's enemies this is our doctrine so basically what Museveni is saying that don't push us. If we want to stay neutral, we will be neutral. If we believe that Russia is going to help us in ABCD and US is going to help us EFG, we're going to be partners with both of them. But if somebody's going to cross us, we're going to cross them too. So stop pushing us into being enemies to your enemies. And that's none of our business. So I believe that's admirable, even though Museveni is not the perfect leader. And we can say a lot about him and his leadership. But definitely this speech, in my opinion, is the truth. And I'm glad he said it because sometimes the West believes that we are their puppets and they tell us to jump and we'll just say how high. And it's not fair. It's not right. We have our own minds. We get to decide what's beneficial for us. And in this case, Africans are deciding the right way, I believe, because if you want to stay neutral, stay neutral. If it's not going to benefit you, why are you going ahead and joining a war that does not concern you? So I agree with Museveni. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about the stories that we discussed. We'll see you on the next recap. I'm Ongil Zalalem. Stay blessed. Bye.